Hi there, so today we're going to see how to use point attractors and uh, we're going to see a very simple way to do that and uh, first of all we're going to use a um, square grid component and uh, put the extent on x and y of 20 and the size of the squares I wanted to put of uh, 3 so what I want to do here is to generate uh, circles inside each cell so to do that I need to get the center point with the area component so I just connect my cells to my area component to get the center point and I use the circle component to get uh, my circles with the same radius so here I want to put a point on this surface in order to move it and change the size of the radius based on the proximity to that point and to do that, I want to get first my surface here to generate my point inside it. And to do that, I have to use a component called convex pole. And what this component do is take in a bunch of points and just uh, create a polyline on the uh, points that are on the extreme uh, of this geometry. So just the outer point of it. So I just connect these points here and I need to flatten them. So as you can see, I get the polyline of my uh, of my square, and I use the boundary surface to get my surface here. So to put a point on this surface, I use the um, MD slider, and this basically generates a point on a specific domain. And uh, to uh, put the point on that surface, I need to evaluate that with the evaluate surface. I need to connect this surface here and the point here and as you can see I can move it but uh, the domain of uh, my surface is not the same as the MD slider here so I need just to right click on the surface and use reparameterize so now you can see I can move the point basically anywhere in my, uh, in my surface but the problem here is that uh, it's not actually following the same direction that I move in just because the surface is like uh, rotated in a different way so I just use the rotate component and uh, change the angle with degrees of minus 90 and then uh, I need to put also the center point of my surface in order to rotate from the origin so I have my surface now and I connect it so as you can see now the point just moves perfectly on the direction that I want. So now what I want to do is to calculate the distance between this point and all these points here of my circles. So I need to use the distance component and calculate the distance from this point, this center points and this point here. I need to flatten this one because these two lists are different and uh, if I flatten this it basically matches this 400 points here because as you can see if I connect here I just have one list of points actually this is one point but this one is uh, a list of lists but I all I need just them in one specific uh, uh, list so I just need to flatten and now I have all my distances here and what I want to do here is to generate uh, the radius of the circle based on this point here but if I connect my distances here you can see that the circles are too big and first of all I need to flatten this one as well uh, so in order to change it and in order to get the maximum value for the like most distant point here I have to remap this number to get the the domain of these values between 0 and 1.5 and 1.5 because my uh, my square here has a size of 3 and the radius of the circle has to be of maximum 1.5 so I need to use the remap component and here basically ask me for the values that are my distances the source is the domain of uh, this list so the minimum and the maximum number and to get that I use the bounce component 
and as you can see it gets the minimum and the maximum value as a domain since he needs a domain source I connect my domain here and as you can see it goes from 0 0.72 to 51 I connect on the source and the target needs to be from 0 to 1.5 so I change the domain from 0 to 1.5 as a maximum value and as you can see now the remapped value are between 0 and 1.5 so 1.5 here is the maximum and 0 might be somewhere else inside this list I'm not going to see where it is because this have 400 uh, values so I just connect my mapped values and if I connect this one and I turn those off just need this point on you can see now that uh, the closer the point are to my uh, to my point here uh, the smaller uh, the, si the size will be because the distance will, will be smaller actually so if I move my point with the empty slider you can see that the, the circles change radius based on their distance so this is a very simple way to use the point attractors there are many other ways to use it based on a distance between a let's say points and curves or mm, I don't know based on other shape but we will see in uh, other tutorials I hope this was really helpful and uh, if you have any question as always leave a comment below subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial